Hey, beautiful galactic spirits. How are you on this beautiful new adventure in what it means to be human? Now, I think you know what that means at some level, right? But during this 13-day adventure, we're going to explore what it means to be human, about your free will, are you willing, which we talk about every time, and taking compassionate action. And today we are going to talk about going really into the depths of what it means to be human. We're going to talk about the keys to your castle. That's super exciting. We are also going to talk about some revelations that I had exploring my keys to the castle. So you can learn about more about how these synchronicities and how these emojis, these energies, recorded and carved in stone are the manifestations of our universal birthrights where we can start living as humans with heaven on earth. And then we're going to have, of course, a meditation on how to really drop in and anchor what these human emojis are and how they what they mean and the depth of what they mean to your mind body spirit and etherical multidimensional selves in your multidimensional body so that's what we're going to do today so as we started let's start right up front with what the energies of human are and what the emoji looks like. Now, as a reminder, and don't, just to, just so you know, this is all stream of consciousness. Yeah, I sort of have an agenda, but what happens is I drop into the information that you're supposed to get right here and now with... Um, um, guidance from my galactic spirit. You, you know, why don't we talk about galactic spirit right now? What is it? Galactic spirit not only is your conscious evolution of what it means to live heaven on earth and really understand these 20 very empowering um, energetic glyphs, um, I like to call them emojis because we understand what emojis are from the smiley faces and the frowny faces and the sleepy time drooly faces and all the others that we have come to know through our uh, media platforms. But these emojis are the original emojis that are found in Mayan ruins throughout the Yucatan Peninsula as well as Mexico and um, other and. Th uh, throughout the top part of South America that really were given to us by the ancients to be unlocked at this time. So human, it's a really important energy, of course, because we are all um, in our meat suits, if you will, having a uh, spiritual experiences while we're living on heaven and earth. And the human is all about, are you willing to take the opportunity? You know, you, you made a commitment to come into the planet. You came, you, if you believe in reincarnation, we are talking about that our souls come into our third dimensional bodies with missions. And all of these emojis, the 20... Um, birthrights are specific to how uh, the contracts that we made and what we were going to fulfill while we are here, while we're alive. And as I said at the top, why shouldn't we be living heaven on earth and being able to manifest anything and everything we want? Meanwhile, as we live with uh, ease and grace and joy, and that happens to be another emoji. It's a monkey. Um, but human is all about, are you willing? You are willing to come in. You are willing to be alive. You're willing to uh, be alive and experience what we have right now. That is what, er, that's what human's all about. It's about free will and it's about taking compassionate action. Now, what does compassionate action mean? Compassionate action, number one, it's compassionate action to yourself. Do you beat yourself up for not doing the things that you wanted to do during the day? Or are you living in compassionate action for yourself as well as living in compassionate action for others? How do we love each other as we do our earth walk 
as human. So we're going to talk. Um, human is also also about free will. It's making the conscious choice every day. And as you know, every day we are given multiple conscious choices, almost rapid fire about the decisions that we make. One of the compassionate actions of com uh, being human is being re responsive to situations instead of reactive. Isn't that true? And isn't that being, um, having compassionate action with yourself with the free will of choice about how you want to uh, live in ease and grace. So what do we, so that is a little snapshot of what human is. I'd like to talk about where we've been and where we're going relative to the keys in the castle. Now remember all of these tw uh, 20 adventures, these 13 day adventures that we're discussing, I'm dropping little nuggets every time so you understand how the whole system works. And it's really not necessary to understand how the system works with what I'm explaining to you right now, but it's okay. The more you under, the more I drop these little nuggets, the more you're going to start understanding the whole system. If you don't understand it, what it, what I'm talking about right now, it is okay. We will repeat it in future episodes, so it will ultimately anchor in your brain. And as you know, your brain is your your brain and your heart, your pineal gland and your heart, your mind, and your capacity to fire those neuro, neuro patterns in your mind to electrify. That's what the mind is. Your mind is electric. Your body is magnetic. Your mind, your pineal gland, which is connection to the universal consciousness. It's, a, it's connected to the field, whatever you want to call it, the divine matrix. It's it, um, whatever you want to call the universal field that connects all of us humans through, not only through um, our perceptions, but as quantum science and quantum scientists that are really starting to explain it to us. And I could go into that, but I don't think that I want to, other than give you a drop a little nugget here. We are actually shifting our DNA when we work with these galactic emojis, because what happens is, as you know, or as the quantum scientists will tell us, that our cells, when you break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down into the atoms and, and the and the electrons and the neutrons, the smaller particles or quarks and, and smaller particles than that. And the deeper you go into your cellular structure, the deeper you go into the void of our DNA on those missing dormant that not missing the sleeping should I say dormant pieces of your cellular structure which is exactly the same particles of energy that is of the universe when you go into the universe and you go smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller or further and further out they're finding that we are all ever expanding and these particles are ever expanding based upon our quantum thought so the higher the, the higher we think the more deep, the deeper we go internally and really see and visualize, the our cells uh, getting stronger and expanding. We'll have, uh, we'll not only be able to manifest what we want on Earth, but we'll look younger and younger, live longer and more fulfilling lives. The more our universe, looking at the parallels between our bodies and the universe, our galaxy. Um, and the galaxies on galaxies keep on expanding more and more, and we'll be able to see that. I've been watching a lot of Gaia TV lately. Beautiful. I've been studying with uh, Greg Braden's brilliant work. So where does all of that come from? That comes from his body of work. So at your convenience, go ahead and check it out. So let's go back to our humanness. And this is what it means to be a galactic human because we can tap into our cellular structure. We can know that that we can, we do know that it aligns with our galactic power and our ever expanding consciousness. And the deeper we go and the more expansive we go in the universal field, the more we can manifest our lives into um, faster and faster manifestation because as we know there is no time there is no space there's only the quantum field that we're all 
connected to. So that was just a big nugget there. I'm also going to drop another one um, that I feel like it's important to know relative to how these emojis work. Now we've talked about the macro and micro energies and as a reminder, here is the 13-day energy that we are in now, right? We're in human. Start anchoring this image in your mind because as you start under seeing this, as all of a sudden you're being reactive to something or, or you're not feeling that you can make a conscious choice about something, all you need to do, instead of bringing a smiley face emoji into your consciousness, go ahead and drop the human emoji into your consciousness. And remember that all you need to do is make a, a compassionate action choices because that is free will and be willing to do it. That's all human is about. And as you learn more and more about human, as you anchor it in, you'll start understanding through synchronistic experience that you're having in your life that you'll be able to see the multidimensional aspects of all of these energies. Now, this is the 13-day energy. And as a reminder, we are going through, here's the little wheel, there's the human inside, and we are going through the 13 days of ascension where here's here's our ascension grid and we are moving up our 13 days the first day we magnetize second day we start looking at challenges for duality third day third day we engage our brains and we start moving up this ascension where every single day is a micro fractal micro energy of the 20 yeah of the 20 as you ascend up this wheel of 13 days now during this um, little lesson today on human we are not going to talk about how day number one is human if human to really anchor the human in um, and magnetizing our body the second day it, we're going that we're going to talk about Sky, Skywalker and bringing the challenges of understanding the um, heaven and earth. See how Skywalker has these lines? Heaven and earth going into the void. We're going to talk about this energy in a second because that is the one, one of the energies that we recently had 13 days with and we learned about how to go into the void. Hold that thought, we'll be back into that in a minute. We're not gonna go into wizard right now, day number three, where we're talking about our brain, day, you know, and our electrical capacity, magnetic capacity, day number one, day number two, challenges, day number three, we're electrifying, so we can electrify our uh, electromagnetic field. J day number four, we're going into the eagle, how are we looking at eagle? I'm just giving you a quick little lesson here. Quick little eagle, four day grounding our electromagnetic energies in human, macro, macro and micro. You see what we're talking about here? Go to galacticspirit.com. Get the energies for free, my darling galactic spirits. Just go get them. So we're not really going over the my, my, micros within the macros because I want to give you and share another layer to this that I want you to take in the back of your head, sink it in, because eventually you're going to get it, and talk about the keys to your castle. Now, this is the first time in a while we've talked about the keys to the castle, and I'm just going to show you some of my little cheat sheets, and these are going to be available on Galactic Spirit too. But here is human, see it? There is human. And in the human series of four, those happen to be in the white castle. Now you'll notice there are five castles and they're color coded and they each have their energies. It's kind of hard to do this backwards. There's the red castle. And remember, we're going in a circle of progression. We are going around the wheel 
of the 20 emojis, 13 days each, to really sink in to each of the days as we spend 13 days on each. And each of these 13 times four add up to a castle. Again, we're in human now. Last series was Storm. Last ser series before that was World Bridger. Last series before that was Skywalker. And we did these. Do you remember them? Here we are in influence. Um, we're going to talk about the influence of wisdom and human in a second. Free will, be willing. Storm, breaking down to break through. Um, World Bridger, ultimate surrender, letting go of self-sabotage, letting go of our karma, and being, being a clear channel to see into the void. Remember I showed you card number two in a second, a second ago? I don't want to confuse you now, but there are 20 energies, and each of these energies are 13 days. We're in human now. As we go around the wheel of human, you don't need to memorize this. Go to Galactic Spirit and get it. Day number two is Skywalker. So look at the wheels upon wheels. Let me show you this in another way. I haven't shown you this image before. Here, we are now in the white I'm going to need some glasses. Here we are in the White Castle, Skywalker, World Bridger, Storm, and we're in, we are in Human Now. And this entire series of four times 13 day adventures is the White Castle of your soul evolution of activating and imprinting these energies into your consciousness. Now really, as a reminder, there you go, all you need to know is the energy of the day on the energy of the day. Get them for free on galacticspirit.com. But I want you to see the progression of influence that you are experiencing. So ultimately, again, we are in the White Castle right now, one, two, three, four adventures of 13 days. The one before that, the Red Castle, was instinctual awareness with dragon, wizard, eagle, and sun. I'm sorry, that's hand, hand. Um, so, so as we're going around this cycle, we keep on going deeper and deeper and deeper into our multidimensional consciousness because every time we go around an energy, let me find you human for you again. Every time we experience one of these 13 series adventures of 13 days understanding and deepening the emojis of consciousness that are our birthrights, we have, we deepen our evolution. I want to show you one other thing before I talk about um, the revelations in this castle that I had so you can see my evolutionary growth as an example for how you are moving through and experiencing every day and how these emojis are anchoring into your consciousness. So just as a just to finish this circle, first we started with the four four 13 day cycles of instinctual awareness. This is your castle. Then we are now completing with the last set of, thir of 13 days of the four of human soul evolution. Next cycle, where we're going to start with the 13 days of serpent. This is, this is the transforming. So look what we're doing. We're initiating action. 
we're having a soul soul evolutions by imprinting and activating and imprinting we're transforming then we're going into the yellow which is express and manifest wholeness and with multi-dimensional coherence and then we move into the green with infinite consciousness and wholeness and your universe so this is looking at the castles around the outer perimeter so this is macro macro right the 13 days are macro and then each of these thir um uh each of the 13-day houses, if you will, are the four cycles, and then the keys are your daily influences. Thank you for holding with me at that moment, because this is going to anchor into your consciousness. So not only are you going to start rev having revelations with, and I'm going to share some revelations with you in a second, having revelations on each day as you move up the ascension of your humanness with each castle five castles you're moving through a wheel of conscious exploration and evolving consciousness to deepen and continue to evolve let's just do this once again i'm going to show you another um, graphic just to have you look at it another way here's you here are your castles the red castle um four 13 13 day adventures this is 52 days so first we do the red castle of initiating ascension and instinctual awakening then the second castle and we are in human right now so we've done we've already done the other four uh the other three white is all about initi um activating and imprinting your soul evolution then we get into the transformation and your is inner resonance are you starting to resonate with all these synchronicities that are happening in your life after you've activated and imprinted and started your initiation look how much beautiful sense this makes then going down we're expressing and manifest so after we've transformed we're starting to express and manifest and really being an outer expression of our humanness look what we did inner is exploring your inner wisdom within that's another layer of human inner wisdom and influencing wisdom so looking from the outside in how are you influencing how are you being influenced by the wisdom is it wisdom or is it not wisdom that's for your free will and your influence and your mental wisdom to figure out by your external circumstances are you being a wise human to be influenced just by the truth that is resonating within your consciousness to be discerning to have the free will to know whether or not the information that you are receiving from your external world is true and how is it influencing you we don't want bad influences to influence you or to have that cause and effect you want to have the influences from the outside world through your discriminating mind through your free will to cause your effect cause and effect being a victim of circumstance or are you causing the effect through your influenced wisdom from your external circumstances or and then that's one layer and the other layer of influencing wisdom is how are you projecting your wisdom 
through your compassionate action out into the world. Look at the multidimensionality of this. So as we experience our castles, the keys to your castle, every day, look at the wheels now, every day, 260, this is so hard to do backwards, um, 260 days of keys, each has its own nuance that you can start when you pay attention. They will influence your life. They will make an influence on your life. All you have to do is pay attention. You'll go, oh my goodness. The more you start paying attention to the energy of the day on the energy of the day, you're going to see the influence that it has in the synchronicity and how much it makes sense. And as a reminder, everybody, everybody is experiencing this galactic astrology calling it that, influencing your galactic spirit in synchronicity with everybody else's galactic spirit in the, the you know, everybody else's galactic spirit coming down from the universal galactic spirit, the field, the quantum matrix, whatever you want to call it, God, the unified source. So we're all working this together. So here we've got the 260 days. And now here are the 13, the, the adventures of 13 days where there are 13 of these micro energies of the 13 into the five castles. I'm going to repeat myself. Here's the five castles. You start, let me, I think I'm going to show it to you this way. Yes, we know it's a wheel. We know that the wheel is always turning. Every time the wheel turns and the wheel spins, we go deeper into our consciousness by paying attention to the micro energies. Get them for free on galacticspirit.com. They are the same energies of, of every day that we were talking about. How, as a reminder of the 13 days as we go around the micro wheel of compassionate action, influencing human, free will, being willing. You get it? There's your, here's your lesson for the day. To finish our wheel, we started with the f four adventures in our red all the way down where we've initiated action, we've anchored it into our consciousness and our soul evolution. We're going into transformation with the next cycle. So next time we meet, we're going to talk about the serpent. Um, next um, time after that, the castle is expressing and manifesting multidimensional coherence. And then we, we move into wholeness, your universe, universe, your universal expression of yourself, verse, your song of yourself, you, you, your chi, your heart, your, your mind, body, and spirit expressing yourself to human consciousness. Again, guess what? We start over again and ever deepen our experience every time we go into the wheel, going deeper and deeper into our cellular structure to manifest what we want and have heaven on earth. Remember, I just gave you a pretty juicy lesson of micros and macros of the different layers, daily keys, 20 13-day adventures, and our five castles. These are your keys to your castles, which are your daily energies. Got it? Let's talk about some of my revelations that I had during the last castle in activating and imprinting these energies on my soul. I won't forget these. The same way when you start recognizing what these energies are and what they mean to you, you will not forget them. So when you are in a situation where you need 
any of these energies, any of them in a circumstance, you can drop it in because you will have the emoji to come to your rescue. You get it? Oh, take a breath. Take a breath. Every 13 days, I kind of share some of my experience with you so you can actually see how these energies are working in my life to, to start looking at their relationship and how they influence your life. Here we go. We are in human now, right? Influencing wisdom. It was, here's my revelation. It was my, and these four, this was the first world, world um, Skywalker. Next was... First we had Skywalker, then we had World Bridger, then we had Storm in this castle of activating and influencing our soul's evolution. So what did my soul learn? I had a breakthrough. And I am now influencing my wisdom on the outer world to you, I had an inner revelation of influencing wisdom. And I had a breakthrough with storm, breakdown or breakthrough, remember? And I released self, some self-sabotage. It's still really hard. And this one we're going to be working on for the rest of our lives and releasing karma. And it's that easy if, our, if, we, if we're masterful. That's what we're aspiring, to be masterful. To be a ch clear channel of transformation. So here's the big nugget. Here's the big revelation that I initiated and activated and imprinted in my castle. for my soul's evolution. Trans, and here it is, here's the nugget. Traveling into the unknown is challenging for me. Remember Skywalker, instead of, let's use human, let's use human. Remember, wait a minute. I've got so much in my head here. But it's really simple. You're paying attention to the energy of the day on the energy of the day, but we're pulling them all together. Skywalker, the first 13-day adventure in our castle of soul evolution and activating and imprinting our consciousness was all about being a clear channel. Remember the meditation of traveling into the unknown going into the void of space. See how the, the bo I have to do it this way so you can see. Here's Earth. Here's the veil of consciousness. Their dimensional consciousness as we know it. Earth moving ever higher and higher and higher into deeper space, into the unknown. So here's a big nugget. If you're waking up every morning and you're having an expectation of how your day is going to plan out, then you have no room for surprise. You have no room for synchronicity. You have no room for the magic that, the, that if you are being a clear channel is gonna drop in. So it's really important to not have any blockages. How many of you have done this? I have, raise your hand. You wake up from the wrong side of the bed. This is how galactic spirit works, everybody. You, work up, you wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you're grumpy all day. 
because you are not using your human consciousness to be willing to make a change in your life, to make an immediate change in your day to say, oh, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay, acknowledge it and let it pass right through. And with compassionate action and love, love is another emoji, it's the dog emoji, are you willing to use, use your free will to change your consciousness so you don't go through the rest of the day being blocked into your preconception that you cannot go beyond because you're stuck in that energy and you're going to have a crappy day. So we're just looking at a day. So you have the compassionate action. Look at look at the look at the series now. Can you break through the veil of your limiting mind? I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm going to shift that. Shift. I'm going to surrender that influence, drop that energy in. And I'm going to self-reinvent my day. I'm going to break down, get rid of that crap, get rid of that limitation. And I'm going to break through because I am willing to have a great day. Drop into that, how does that feel? And how many times does that happen? Sometimes it happens by accident. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I'm going to have a crappy day, so you do. Or you woke up on the wrong side of the bed and you're going to have a crappy day and then all of a sudden somebody calls you or something happens or you get something groovy in the mail or some magic happens or you run into an old friend or you get a new contract or you get a new opportunity, whatever that looks like. And you go, jeepers. I woke up at seven or I woke up at six. I get up really early. I get up at five. And, in, and I, made the, I made a decision that I was going to have a crappy day. So up until whenever that magical breakthrough happened, where by circumstance you had to surrender because it was, because it was so awesome, and you said, damn, darn. I missed all of those up, those hours, those minutes that I sacrificed my life for, not sacrificed, that I gave up my life for and I was miserable as compared to putting my foot on the bed, foot, putting my foot on the ground the second that I woke up and said, yeah, I had a bad dream, yeah, I had a bad morning, yeah, blah, blah, blah. and I shifted that consciousness right here, right now. So the rest of my day was full of magic. And even if magic doesn't drop in for the day, guess what? Instead of giving up one day of your life or being miserable in that day, you were willing to take compassionate action for yourself, with yourself, to being wise enough by your influence in your conscious mind to activate your heart with intentional emotion to shift into having a great day where that day, whether it was the whole day and you were miserable or the whole day where you shifted your consciousness because something magical happened or you shifted your day from the get-go and those entire moments of that day of your life that is now gone forever was full of compassionate action toward yourself. So what's my lesson? My lesson goes back to the first emoji of the 13 day adventure of our soul evolution 
to activate and imprint these 52 days and that was traveling in the unknown with Skywalker is scary. Let's tie this together. If I had a bad morning and I've set the intention that I'm going to have a miserable day all day, I already know that. Or am I evolved enough to recognize the synchronicity when it drops in and that veil becomes thin and we learn something. So we can then say to ourselves, wow, Jamie Lynn, you made a decision that you were going to have a crappy day, but somehow because of all the other work that you've done on yourself, all that other self-realization, you were able to recognize you were willing to recognize a magical moment to shift your day and you didn't know that it was happening. You didn't know it was going to happen. So my revelation is if you shifted your morning, look at how the four beautiful energies are working together. If you shifted in first thing in the morning that you were willing to open up your receptivity to whatever magic was going to drop in not only did you live your live those minute by minute by minute by minute second by second by second life up into that entire day that you gave away being alive for that you exchanged your life for all those minutes that you exchanged your life for You allowed yourself to step into the unknown. That was the revelation that I made. And we did it three cycles ago. With the help of, we stepped into the unknown. We practiced stepping into the unknown all the time being willy, willing, remember these are microfractals of each other, we surrender to feeling a certain way, to experiencing something a certain way, to have a breakthrough, storm, breakdown or breakthrough, to experience our life in a magical way. Recap. I learned that traveling in the unknown is a challenge for me. I, I, I would suspect it's a challenge for you because according to the teachings of Joe Dispenza, for example, masterful, masterful human, beautiful influence, but he did the work on himself. He used his influencing wisdom through his compassionate action to recognize and to do studies that if you do everything in the same way day in and day out because it's locked in your cellular memory it's locked in your body that if you don't make if you're not willing to take compassionate action and make change guess what your life will not change if you're not willing to step into the unknown so things will be different, things will not change. Day in, day out, you can say, oh, I wish my life will be different. My dad used to say, if wishing were pishing, you'd be swimming. Your life will not change. You need to be willing and take compassionate action to adventure into the unknown, which was the first 13-day adventure of our castle. My phone's telling me to breathe. Of soul evolution, the white castle. And we are now at the end of the four sequences, the four series of 13 days in our castle with exploring our inner human day by day day by day 
go to galacticspirit.com. You do not need to memorize these. See what the fractals are of the energies that are going to influence your day, that are going to influence your wisdom, to learn these revelations for yourself in whatever way the circumstances of our lives evolve. Yes, pay attention to your outside influence, but have the wisdom and the discernment through your own intelligence, through your own wisdom, to make choices, conscious choices, conscious free will, conscious, compassionate action to be the change you want to see in the world as compared to wanting to change but not changing the, changing the action. The only way to do that, which our White Castle showed us, is to be a clear channel, travel into the unknown, surrender to the unknown, and have those self revelations and have those self revelations in order to have your breakthrough. This is profound work, everybody. This is your galactic spirit. And every single time you step into a day, every time you put your foot on the floor from awakening from your galactic spirit, from traveling through sleep in your, in your theta transformational space, traveling in the unknown, in dream time, every time you put your foot down on the ground, be willing to have it be a brand new day into the unknown as compared to your preconceptions surrender to the fact that you think you know better because you don't. You don't know better. God, the divine matrix, the field, your galactic spirit is more, is wiser than any human. These emojis carved recorded, gifted to us are our, our universal birthrights that we tap into every day to explore those synchronicities, to travel into the unknown beyond time and space. I think that's what I'm learning now, and that's why I wanted to share it with you. And every time we meet, I know that I am going deeper and deeper into my consciousness, into my DNA to unlock my multidimensional potential of that universal consciousness as every single 13 days I ascend and learn more and more and more. I'm looking for my human card. About whatever 13 days we're in, which influences all of them. Let's breathe into that. Ground yourself. Feet on the floor. Feel the magnetics of your body. Feel every cell tingling in the cosmic vibration of frequency. Our cells are not solid matter. Nothing is solid matter. Everything is vibrational frequency. 
our cells smaller and smaller, 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 smaller particles vibrating with the frequency of whatever vibration you want to tap into, into the galactic spirit, into the smaller, 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 smaller particles of the galaxy, which are one or the same through entanglement. We are connected. So our cells are vibrating. Our electric, excuse me, our, our magnetic bodies are magnetizing whatever frequency we want. We are activating it through our minds. My, our minds are electric. We focus on that on day number three on our ascension. 13 day ascensions, day number three of 13. Taking our electromagnetic minds, visualizing those electrical circuits, mag influencing with wisdom, free will, compassionate action all over our magnetic bodies and creating a magnificent electromagnetic field that is stronger vibrating higher and faster than when we first started our, our, our little meditation. And we're seeing it as a Taurian, Taurian field, that energy coming up through the earth, running through our bodies, coming through our heads and recirculating. Look at this beautiful mudra of energy. Earth up through our bodies into the galaxy. The earth and its magnetic poles are doing the same thing. You are one with the earth. I'm one with nature. I'm one with God. You're one. That's a, that is Omane Padme Om. One of the most powerful Buddhist Sanskrit prayers. I'm one with nature. I'm one with God. Omane Padme Om. You're a Torian field. Look at the earth doing the same thing through the South Pole. You are one with the earth, Mother Gaia, up into the galactic spirit as the earth in, is, is an electromagnetic field in our galaxy. And look at the way we are moving our toric field. Ah. Through our influence, through our electromagnetics, let's go the opposite way. As in, as without, as above, so below. We're now taking energy from heaven, down through our bodies, grounding it into the earth. We're Omane Padme Om, we are one with nature, one with God. We are one with the earth, the Torian field, electromagnetic influence, and we are extending this information out into the galaxy. Now remember, this is not two-dimensional. If, if I was a sheet of paper, this is two-dimension. Fingertip to fingertip is two-dimension. Now we're going three-dimensional. See that? It's not three-dimension. It's three. 160 degrees in dimension. This Toridian field is a sphere of light. Oh, breathe into that. And your sphere of light shining brighter and brighter with your electromagnetic vibration and frequency is shining bright in the beautiful earth connected. And as we sit in our solar system, solar system, the system of our soul, Our 
solar system. Our soul is connected to the galactic spiritual field of global, not global, universal, galactic consciousness. That galactic consciousness is the divine matrix where all is connected into the void of no time and no space into the unknown. Breathe into that. You cannot manifest anything new if you are blind. If you do not surrender, here's the energies of the castle. The castle of soul evolution. You are activating and imprinting your soul lar consciousness into the galaxy. Because through free will and compassionate action and making conscious choices, human, you've broken through self-sabotage. Look what I'm doing. Where's Storm? We've broken through, upside down, broken through. We've surrendered self-sabotage. We've gone into the void of the unknown. And as a solar galactic being, third, 360 degree, Fear of unlimited potential. We are not only being influenced by the matrix, the divine matrix, God, our innate source, or the Akashic records, whatever you want to call it. You are using your influencing wisdom to drop in to be able to manifest anything you want without time or space and to be open to receive your electromagnetic selves magnetizing whatever you want because you've invent you'd adventured into the unknown you set the intention of being able to be a magnet for whatever you wanted because you are working the emojis you are working your birthrights You are playing, you are dancing with ease and grace because you're paying attention to the synchronicities that the galactic emojis are sharing with you, are showing you on magnificent diamond glittery platters. Did you wake up with a silver spoon? No. You woke up with the potential of everything that you want in the galaxy because you are that magnetic field. Tap into those energies and take these magnificent energies of the divine matrix, the energy of who you are and anchor them into your consciousness and bring them down to your third dimensional body. So your body is not only 
in three dimension. You are in five dimension. You can tap into this matrix because you have the free will and you can take compassionate action to drop in whenever you want. There you go. Bring it in, bring it down. I'm gonna leave you in this space. Come down whenever you want. Make sure you get the daily energies every day on galacticspirit.com for free. Go ahead and get them. Because when you tap into these keys, you will see these Alpha transformations. You will see these transformations on a daily basis. You will be that beacon of influenced wisdom. You will be that beacon of compassionate action for others. From my galactic spirit to your galactic spirit and beyond, beyond, ever expanding. From my heart to yours, in Lakesh, I am another yourself, which is, the, which is the Mayan way of saying namaste. The light within me honors the light within you. Bright blessings.